congratulations to those who are on the don't watch Lansing Chatta really. I think their uh, attempt to stop or teach Amir Khan and Bebo her lessons as well. Box office ratings of La Singh Chada are not as encouraging as it ought to have been otherwise with an Amir Khan film. So now Amir Khan will learn according to the Bhats that he must love India, otherwise his feelings will flop. And all of us have very successful careers. We make big money because we love our country and we are proud of that. Kudos, well done. And I'm also carrying a lovely orange book with me. I hope my patriotism is now established and I'm a patriot. Over to Lal Singh Chala. A film that's taken a huge effort in its making. Both from shoot time and pre-shoot time because uh, I heard very recently that it took years and years for them to even get the copyright of making Tom Hanks uh, Forrest Gump into a Hindi movie. That in itself is a new paradigm that we decide to acknowledge the original and move on to make an adaptation. So it's interesting that uh, you have Forrest Gump in India. Obviously it's going to have political parallels and you're not going to juxtaposition what happened in the West in the context of Forrest Gump to the storytelling of Lal Singh Chada. Lal Singh Chada is a gifted child reared by a single mother played by Mona Singh. From childhood he has he scribbled he has the Jaipur foot or something, some footwear that helps him walk. Ridiculed in school. He has a lone friend in Rupa, a girl in poverty in his neighborhood, though he is half home. She is the only person in his life who accepts him and lives the line till life do, does them apart. Little Lal Singh Chada has his challenges till he learns and realizes, or till others learn and realize that he is an amazing talent to run. This transforms Lal's life. He moves on with speed, with the serendipity that keeps happening too many times in his life. He joins the armed forces saves lives, including one of his own enemies. And finally, what happens with his emotive life? While he peaks success after success after success, there is this hollow space where people, time and society has no time to look into. It's empty. The one person he loves moves off from his life. Her compulsions. She walks in, walks out with disdain, leaves him shocked. How does he cope with this? Are men specially gifted, emotively? insensitive? How do you deal with their emotions? How do you deal with a human being who is not the stereotypical person and does not fall into the boxes that you typically tick and name it good, bad, successful, unsuccessful, happy, unhappy? Oh, our bourgeois. Oh, how comfortable it is to sit down, 
place people in those little little pigeonholes that we make of our lifestyles and then sit down and evaluate. Like we do with America. Like we do with Karina Kapoor. Like we patriots do with our lives. You're with me? You're not with me, so you're against. You don't agree with me politically, therefore you're against the country. I'm liberal, you're a woke, you're a bug. Come on. Please. Your love for the country, your love for your positions, your love for where you want to be seen, aren't as important like Lal Singh Chanda. Being a good, lovable, nice human being. Is that what Forrest Gump is about? Sorry, is that what Lal Singh Chanda is about? Watch it if you can. Watch it if you mean it. Cinematically, I am a tad disappointed with Atul Kulkani and Amar, not to mention Advait Chandra. Simply because they had a masterpiece before them. And the challenge was in its adaptation. Having done PK, Amar ought to have created a different paradigm to reflect on the kind of special person that. Lal Singh Chada is, and that's not Tom Hank interpretation is not the only kind that you could have done. Don't forget, a very similar character with less spirit is so brilliantly essayed by Deepthi Naval in a film called Ankahi. He could have got inspiration from Deepthi, but we all love inspirations from the West, don't we? So Mr. Perfectionist, Your slippery shoe. I believe that Ahmed lets down Lal Singh Chada more than anybody else does. This is not to say that his performance is bad. This is to say that his preparation for the performance is a little skewed. It falls below my expectations of Ahmed the perfectionist. Bebo. Karina Well, she's ideal for that role, isn't she? Of the girl who grows in challenging, traumatic, domestic scenario. Has tinsel dreams and wishes to fulfill them. And then, of course, she's the typical Hindi film heroine. Therefore, she has to correct herself and come back. She goes through the quintessential Bebo roles, the quintessential Karina Kapoor roles, and is where she should be. Mona Singh is good as the mother, the Punjabi single mother, but I'm sure stronger women. I would have loved to see Tabu do that. I'm sure she would have accepted the challenge of playing Amir Khan's mom. I would have loved to see Shabana Azmi doing that role. Was Amir worried about a very strong mother role in the film? No idea. And when it comes to Amir as the actor, I believe in the later part of the film when he moves into the more Indian milieu and not the war milieu, it's very good. His emotive quotient is high. And he proves yet again why He's the kind of actor people make him out to be. One's wrong to compare Lal Singh Chada with the Academy Award winning Forrest Gump. And let's all face it. Whether Amir has the talent or does not have the talent, our system will not create a Tom Hanks. And therefore, it will be unjust to say that Amir is no Tom Hanks, though that is what conclusion one is driven at at the end of this movie. Three hours? Come on, we've gone past the Gone with the Wind and Sangam days.
can our film directors please understand the attention focused time of our audience and cut their films to approximately two hours. You're making a masterpiece. You're making a masterpiece that's going to be impressive. It's not a masterpiece that lingers or meanders. And this is another place where Advai Chandan fails you. All this notwithstanding. Lal Singh Chanda is an honest man. Protest, I do. I would have watched Lal Singh Chanda on the first day because it's my duty to watch it, perform and write about it or talk about it. If that makes me a patriot a little less, maybe I'll have to pay more taxes, I don't know. I have no other country to go to, so don't say go to Pakistan. And I must say, it needed some guts to make forest gum in an Indian context. Yet another problem with the film is that Amar does in Lal Sinchada what he almost did in PK. The characters in a way are different from what are stereotypically our actors, heroes. And therefore, there was a greater challenge for Amir to either interpret PK differently or interpret Lal Singh Chanda differently. Because information is that even while he was doing PK, he knew he was going to do Lal Singh Chanda. Assuming that he did not, assuming that he had interpreted PK in a certain manner, he had artistic space to do Lal Singh Chanda differently and he has not. Contra to and from a simply non patriotic perspective. I would recommend people to watch Lal Singh Chada for the sincerity with which the film is made. It's amazing cinematography. It's touch your heart now, touch your heart then after the interval. And of course, some very sincere performances. As I go on to sign and say thank you, I must also be saying thank you, Abhina. I must also be saying thank you, Datu, who on Raksha Bandhan Day has kept all his work away. Frown on his face though, but has ensured that he shoots me as early as possible for this shoot. So thank you, Datu. Thank you, Abhina. And those of you who are cynists, go for Lao Tse Chala. Thank you.